Hi everyone, it's Ellie May with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I am going to show you how you can easily make one of these shaped edge cards. Now I have links in the description below on a different type of shaped card that I previously made. This one was asked about on my Silhouette Secrets Facebook group, and it's a little bit different technique, so I thought I would show you a quick video on how you can do that. I'm going to show you how to make this card with just simple shapes some with the hearts. And then I'm also going to share how you can change that shape just a little bit to give it a more unique look. So let's take a look at how we can create this. First, I'm gonna start by clicking on the little plus sign in the top left corner. And then I am going to use the project wizard because that's going to be a quick way to show you in this video. In the description below, I also have a blog tutorial on how you can make a card base in two different ways. One, by creating your own in any size that you need, and a second, using this project wizard. So I'm going to come up here to File, New Project Wizard, and I'm going to choose Card. And actually what you're going to see is when I choose Card and Start, it's going to open on a new tab. So I really didn't need to open that tab. Anyhow, I don't like this fine perforated line in the middle for the score line. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, choose ungroup, and then I'm going to click off the red cut lines and I'm going to click back on that score line only. I'm going to come over to the right hand side to my line style panel and under style I'm going to change that to be a much wider line. Um, it's just a personal preference but you also need in this technique you need to have that score line ungrouped from the card base. Now it's going to be very specific in how we place the design so that we keep our card the same size for mailing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this Flexi Shapes. Flexi Shapes is a designer edition or business edition upgrade feature only. I'll have a link in the description below to my tutorial on Flexi Shapes. I'm going to click on the heart and then I'm just going to click on my design mat and I'm going to drag down. This is going to adjust the heart and draw it right side up. You can adjust these little white control points. This one, all it does is make it larger or bigger. Same thing here. Each flexi shape is gonna have different control points. Now I don't need to do anything other than this except I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose convert to path. Now, if you do not have the flexi shapes in order to follow along with this video, I will link in the description below how you can easily draw your own heart to use for this tutorial. I do have a video on that on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to position this heart and now once I've converted it to path, I no longer have those white control points and I can just simply resize it by grabbing the corner bounding box. This is completely personal preference, but when you place these hearts, you do not wanna go outside of this edge because our card is a very specific size. In this case, our card, if I click on this, our card is five inches wide. So it's 10 inches total length, so we can fold it in half and it'd be five inches wide. And then it's seven inches tall. That is what the project wizard starts with. So check out the link in the description below for other card sizes and how you can draw your own. I'm going to click on this heart and then I'm just gonna make a copy. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key or you can Control C, Control V and I'm going to just adjust these and make them different sizes just to give it a unique look. Maybe we'll just line this one up and then I'm just gonna select both of those, hold my Alt key down again, and I'm going to make another line. Now, if you wanted these to be aligned exactly centered, you can use the Align tools once they're all selected and make sure that they're centered. You could also come in here and you could change the direction if you'd like, or you could come up here and move these, and then you could just make another copy, see if it'll fit down here and adjust that how you'd like. And then once again, you wanna center those. Center, and then you could space those horizontally as well. So they're evenly spaced. Now we have these on the edge of our card. 
they're not quite on the edge so I can grab them and I can kind of move them over you just do not let me zoom in here you do not want to go outside of this card base because that card size is a very specific size you also do not want to move the card base or your score line or you're going to have to realign those before you um, cut the file you want to make sure that there's equal distance from the score line to each side of your card base. Now that I have these hearts placed, what I want to do, and we're going to see if this will work, I'm going to select all my hearts and I want to come over here to my offset panel. Now when you're making this shaped edge card, when you choose the offset panel, I'm going to choose offset and that is a little bit too big. Remember, I need to stay within the boundaries of the top, the bottom, and this right side. Otherwise, your card's going to hang outside of your envelope. So I'm going to decrease that. My software remembers the last one that I used. But you also need to watch in here. If I go too small to get it outside of this base, these offsets are not connected. And that is very important when you're doing this technique. So what I'm gonna do is I can move this in just a little bit. Oop, that's the offset. I am going to delete that offset, going to select my hearts, and I'm going to move them in just a little bit. And maybe what I'll do is I'll move these a little bit closer, and then I'm going to center a line and space them out again. Now, with those aligned and a little bit of extra space on the edges here, I'm going to choose offset again. And then I need to make sure that offset overlaps. So I want to increase that until you see that your offset has overlapped everywhere. And you'll see why here in just a minute. Once you have your offset how you like it, click apply and you now have this offset. So the next step is you are creating your edge to be the shape of those offset hearts. So you can bring the right edge, click on the right edge of your card base and bring that in as desired. Everybody probably has a different how they want it to look. And I'll tell you right up front, yours isn't gonna look the same as mine. This is a, that's what happens when you design things yourself. Mine isn't gonna look exactly like yours or yours won't look exactly like mine. Once I have that card edge where I want it, I'm going to select the card edge, hold my shift key down, and I'm selecting the offset. And then I'm gonna right click and choose weld. That is going to give me this offset edge. Now, this may or may not happen to you. When I did that, it created these little spaces in here. And if I hit undo, we can kind of see why. Okay, so if I zoom in here, you're gonna see that my edge was inside of this offset. There's, you could work with that or you can make this card edge, make sure it comes to at least the middle of your design, just so that you don't have those extra pieces in there. And now I'm going to zoom out again. I'm going to select that card base and the offset and I'm going to right click and you can see here I did not get the offset selected. The selection box is around that top heart. So I want to click off, click back on it, hold my shift key down and click on this offset. It still didn't select it. There's the offset. You can see with those gray selection boxes what you have selected. Then I'm going to right click and it deselected it. Undo, right click, choose weld. Now I still have a little piece in here, which is okay because I can show you how to get rid of it. So I'm going to zoom in here. And now this whole thing is one object. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose release compound path. That is going to put a selection box around that little tiny piece. Make sure I don't have any more. If I click off of it and I click back on it, I can hit delete and it's gone. 
So even if you do end up with those little itty bitty pieces in there, you can still get rid of them. So now I have my shaped edge card. If I fill this with color, you're going to see that it just looks like a big giant piece of black. I'm gonna take that color back out. So I'm going to left click, drag across my card base and all of my shapes on the right side. You do not want your score line selected. So only the card base and your shapes going to right click and choose make compound path. Now I'm going to color this in so it, you can see it better on the screen. So if I select everything and I choose, I'll choose a light color, everything is pink. With the card base and all the hearts selected, right click, make compound path, it cuts those hearts out of the card base. It is making it go from five, six layers, six different layered pieces of design to one layer. So you're cutting those hearts out of that shape. Now, if you notice, my score line has disappeared because I filled it with color. That just means that my card base is on top. So if I choose right click and choose send to back, you can see my card, my score line is there. Now, as long as you didn't move your card base or your score line, you're have equal, you will have equal distance from the left side and the right side. So your card should still match up and fold and be a five by seven card when you cut it. If you moved it, check out the description below and I explain how you can line up that score line to be equal distance from both sides using the move by tool. Once I have this, I'm gonna right click and choose group. And now I have a shaped edge card. Now, what I should have done at the beginning was make a copy of those hearts. And I didn't, but I can still work with this. So I'm gonna show you one other technique really quickly. So I'm going to, once again, open that project wizard. It's gonna show, start on a new mat, which is okay. I am gonna follow the same steps, ungroup, and personal preference here, I'm going to change this. The reason I change it is in the past, if I cut this perforated line, as close as they have it in the project wizard, it just makes, I mean, when I fold that card, it just falls apart. It's, it's such a fine line. So now that I have my project wizard, I'm gonna come over here to this heart. And I'm gonna show you an example of how you can create your own unique designs based off those flexi shapes. So if I click on my mat, drag my heart down, I can right click and I ch can choose convert to path. So this is now not editable in the flexi shape mode. But if I double click on this, I bring up edit points. And I will also include more information on edit points in the description. If I click on an edit point here, and I'm sure you've seen kind of the funky edge hearts, I can add an edit point, which gives me some control points here. And when I use those control points, it changes the shape of my design. So that's not quite, probably that's a little bit too much of an edge. And if I click on this one, I have a little bit more of a control point so I can make that a little bit of a different curved shape. Now you can do this on both sides or just leave it on one side. And then once I, what I can do is I can add this on the side of my card make a copy, change the sizes, and you could create all kinds of different shaped cards very easily. Here, I could right click and choose flip horizontal, gives me a little bit different shape and placement. And now that I've done that, I might delete those and then copy this and then maybe copy it one more time. Now, in this case, you wouldn't be able to use the align tools unless you grouped these three together. So if I right click and I choose group and I do the same thing for the middle set and the last set, and then I could select, select them all and choose align center. And then that makes it all aligned in there. 
if I group those three sections together, then I could align it to the middle of my card, but make sure that your card base doesn't move because you wanna keep that score line in the same place. So you want, only want your hearts to move. Now, when I go here, if I wanna create that same shaped edge type of card, I'm gonna to come to the offset panel on the right side, choose offset. In my software version, it remembers my last offset and I need to increase this Again, each card you design is gonna be a little bit different. If your shapes are different, if your um, card size is different, and then it applied my offset, which it's okay. I can show you how to work with that. So I have this offset and I have my card base. Select the card base, select the offset. First, we have to move that card edge. So you can see here, my offset wasn't quite large enough, but if I click on that, I can right click on it and release compound path, and I could delete those inner little bits first to start with that. And then next, you wanna move the right side of your card depending on where you want it placed on your design. Now we can select the card base, select the offset, right click and choose weld can see there's still a little bit right in there that so if I right click on that release compound path I can delete that both of them are selected right now so you want to click off of it and back on it one time to delete it now if I fill this with color you're going to see that let's see every they're not cut out yet so if I come back up here to my color, fill color, I'm gonna take the color out, select everything. So I'm selecting my card base and all of my shapes, right click and choose make compound path. Then if I fill it with color, you're going to see that my hearts are cut out. And then I want to right click and choose send to back. You're not gonna see it because I need to change my color. Let's change the color, that's not any better. We'll change it to light pink. Now you can see that my score line is still in the middle. Again, I'm gonna select both, right click and choose group. Now another thing you, I briefly just noticed here, when you have this score line for the project wizard, I could also come in here and just kind of decrease that. I don't like it to cut over the edge of my card base just because it can cause it to tear. So I kind of just move that in. So that's just another tip that I noticed as we were finishing this up. So I wanna select them both, right click, choose group, and then you go to cut. This is a great way to use the Silhouette Studio tools to create your own unique designs and your own unique cards. I can't wait to see what you create on the Silhouette Secrets with Ellie Mae Facebook group and have fun. Just start playing. I hope those tips have helped you. Have a great day.